how to install the beautify theme on shopify hey guys welcome back today i will be showing you how you can get started with the beautify theme on shopify this is one of the most effective and scalable themes out there for any type of niche that you are in or any type of industry that you are in so i will be showing you guys how you can set it up and how you can get started with some of its amazing features now before we get into the setup you need to download this directly from debutify.com you can't really integrate it directly from shopify which is why you actually have to install this theme instead of just having to tap a couple of times on shopify plus another thing to keep in mind is that this theme is available for free, but it only has three free add-ons and one store license. With more add-ons, premium add-ons, as well as support, feature requests, and other features, you do have to upgrade this theme. Now, to get started with the installation process of this theme, make sure you have logged on to your Shopify store over here. Then, what you want to do is go on to debeautify.com, click on try for free over here, over here, a new signup form will open. In the signup form, you just want to enter all of your basic information, such as your name, email address, a password, and your Shopify store domain. If you don't know what your Shopify store domain is, it's basically the domain that is being used by your Shopify store. So it is what the URL bar says whenever you open up your Shopify store. You can copy and paste it directly from here. Now, moving back into the Debutify theme, once you create your account, this will be your dashboard. And this new dashboard will allow you to connect your store. Now, you can just click on download over here and download your theme. Or you can even see a icon added over here. And you can add a different store if you want to add your Debutify theme onto a different store as well. But simply click on download over here and a new download will begin. You can see on your top right panel over here, I have already downloaded the Debutify theme and it will be downloaded in the form of a zip file. Now, once your zip file has been downloaded, what you want to do is open up your Shopify dashboard. Once you're in your Shopify dashboard, you want to click on online store on the left navigation panel. Once you click on that, it will automatically open up the theme section. You want to scroll down and a good safe option to always do is before you make any major changes to your Shopify store, make sure to duplicate the pre-existing version of your Shopify store simply because it allows you to revert back to the original version of your store if you end up having some issues with your new theme or the new design of your store. Now, what you want to do is simply click on add theme over here a drop down will appear from this drop down you want to click on upload zip file click on add file then you want to go into your downloads and you want to upload your downloaded zip file from the debutify.com site then you just want to click on upload file over here and this is just going to take a couple of seconds for the download uh, to be uploaded and just like that, your new Shopify theme or the Debutify theme will be uploaded into your Shopify themes library. Now, before you make this your current theme, you can get started with the customization. But we are going to wait for the installation to be completed before we can get started with editing our theme. This can take a few minutes to complete the installation and upload process of your Shopify theme. It may be the Debutify theme or any other theme. It can take this much time because it is integrating all of the elements directly into Shopify. Now, you guys can see I am currently using Debutify version 5.0. And now I can just click on customize over here and I can begin customizing my Debutify theme. Now, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. This theme is pretty simple and allows you to customize the appearance of your store. However, some of the pop-up boxes can seem a bit overwhelming, so don't worry about that. You can really do a lot with this theme once you learn how to set it up. So first off, you have your theme settings on the left. Then you have your app embeds as well as your sections. Sections will illustrate the particular section of your particular pages. 
in the shop section will illustrate the particular pages that you have and this navigation panel all the these sections that the theme has created it has used my shopify information how i've previously set up my dom theme and it's taken that and created my navigation panel and product collections in accordance to my actual dom theme that is already applied so to begin our customization the first thing i like to do is click on my theme settings once you click on theme settings you can click on your color from here, you can get started with setting up the color scheme for your Shopify store. Obviously, different brands will have a different color scheme. The niche or the industry that you are present in is also going to be different. So let's say we want to build something with a like luxurious kind of maroon color. So I would take all of my buttons and all of that and start building with that color in mind. I'm going to scroll down, links and accents are all going to be maybe in a pale or a navy blue color. I think that looks too much like an American flag. I think I'm going to go with like a purplish color, muted purple. And then we have errors, sale prices, background, more buttons. So from here, you want to obviously customize the entire appearance of your color schemes. This might take a little while, but it helps you in building a cohesive website. After that, you have your typography, your product styles, all of that. So you want to add all of those to your specific liking because those sections are what's going to actually build the uh, color scheme or the fashion aesthetic of your website. Now to begin adding or editing your actual product sections or your website sections, all you have to do is click on your particular section and then you will get the details of that section on the left side and from here you can customize your section. So you will be able to see your menu bars, your delivery times, all of these sections have already been added. So all I have to do is click on add specific country goal, click on that and I can enter that block information. However, a lot of these blocks might be unnecessary. So you can easily remove those blocks simply by opening that particular block up. So let's say I don't want a featured image. I can click on over here, click on hide and hide it from my store. But if I want to show or display it, I can just click on show just like that. And then from here, I can upload the image. So let's say I want to use this one, click on done. I can use this as my featured image. So after that, you also have your backgrounds, you have your links as well. So you can choose whatever you want to add additionally to your particular section. Now to add a section in your new Debutify theme, all you have to do is you can see you have add section over here. I can add my featured product and just like that, a new section has been added and then I can add what product I want. So I can select the product that I want from here as well. Once you have added all of your changes, you can click on save on the top right and click on publish if you want. However, if you're still uncertain with your current edits, you can just exit and the theme will obviously be saved. However, your pre-existing theme will be the one that's currently running. And once you're finished with the edits of your Debutify theme, you can then click on publish and have it as your published version instead of your previous theme. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.